Hello and welcome everyone. It's Angela. How are you guys all doing? I hope you have been keeping very well, managing to find some time to craft. Well, I hope so. Um, great therapy and great R&R &R time. I definitely do it as much as possible, as you know. Right, so welcome to you guys, as I said, and if you're here for the first time, um, welcome, grab your cuppa and watch what we're going to do, or grab your tools and follow along with me. I would just love to know that you are um, doing your own version of this, that'd be amazing. Right, last time, the last video I did, I um, showed you how I put this layout together. You'll find this in the playlist called Purple Passions um, journal project playlist i will put that link in the description box below this video um if you're not able to look and because you're watching on the tv you will find this in my youtube homepage. they have videos and then the next tab is, i think is playlists and this is in there all those videos linking to this project can be found there so you don't need to worry about missing out on anything right so we did this as i said i just added um let me see if I can pick this up closer. Um, I've just added a little cluster that I made uh, with some sari ribbon, so a silk ribbon, a little piece of tatting, and three mother of pearl buttons. I thought that um, sort of picked up the colour scheme that went on here, but in my own little story of family that's going on, um, I've sort of... I'm putting it down to the colour and some of the details and buttons that are on this particular lady's photo here. So it's just sort of linking up. So if you have pieces of fabric or um, lace or anything like that, that might have been passed down to you or you just make it up like I've just done, you know, that just sort of um, picks up the reality of little bits of fabric and things, make it more real. All right, so that's sort of my story and I'm sticking to it at the minute. I don't know this lady at all, but <laughs> you know, it just makes it all look lovely right so moving on to this week's um or today's project um i'm going to put something on the side now you remember when we were putting this all together we made this particular little um it's actually actually exciting envelope seven um and we made this to fit over here so that is going to go over here um, i'm just putting that to the side for the moment so let's just put that up here get to that towards a little later and then the other bit um, that we'll need here is uh, a, a piece to cover this area this envelope um, and I will be putting this one down here now this one is one of my collection of well I, they are antique but I'm calling them vintage um, invoices an ephemera digital kit this one's from um, 1920 um, and I do love using these. These are all from my own personal collection. So, you know, um, they go perfectly with the theme that we're working with, not only for this project, but wherever you're wanting to use um, actual digital ephemera. All right. So this was from a cabinet mate, maker and somebody's um, blinds that needed and blankets that were sent for cleaning, etc. All right. So this I thought was a lovely a neutral base and I'm going to put that on the bottom there. Um, the other bits, we're going to make a pocket on the side here going to use my uh, vintage collage pages and I'll show that to you in a minute now um, this is the last of the three envelopes we'll get to this one next time um, and what I thought I would do here is I want to make a little bit of a pocket again um, in the top of this envelope here so um, I'm just thinking now if I want to do it on this side or there I think I'm going to do it um, on the top. So before I stick anything else down, I want to just make an opening here. So the way to do that is the same as what I showed you before. Um, just draw a thin line and use your scissors, as simple as that. So I'm gonna just grab my pencil over here. I'm gonna just turn this around. I hope you guys can't hear that the neighbor's mowing the lawn. I did wait for him to finish, but it wasn't happening, so I had to get going. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not something that's too um, loud. Right, so um, you just want to draw a very thin line with your pencil uh, at the top there, on that side. Um, let's just move that out of the way. 
And then just, this is just the easiest way to do this. Um, this is what you do when you have this as an afterthought. Um, preferably you want to be doing this before, um, but it makes no difference. It doesn't make it any harder. So, you know, sometimes these things do just evolve. Now, why I um, thought of doing an opening at the top here is because I want to have um, a nice large journal card to go in the top here. Um, which I will get to when I do the decorating part. So we've got this as an opening now. If we had to take, um, for example, you might have a really large photograph that you might want to make a copy of and back with um, tea stand or lacy paper. You know, I like to use um, this particular one that is great and sort of goes with this whole um, scene. This is an um, antique tablecloth I had. Uh, well, I have, um, that came from the Edwardian era, so I just thought it was perfect, and it's one of my staples that I like to use. Right, so we've got our opening there. We have the bit that we are going to put on top of that eventually over there, um, and this is going to be uh, the bit that we stick our envelope flap to as well. All right, so... We'll get to that. I first want to finish with this piece first. So I'm going to just move this up a little bit over there. I'm going to just turn this to the side because that's going to go closest to the spine bit. Hopefully you can see. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to put a pocket across the bottom here. So what I have used is one of my collage sheets. Um, you can see it's the one with the blue and the creams. Um, and this comes from my uh, collage, vintage collage pages. Um, and I've used all my own bits and pieces in here as well. So this is going to uh, go across the bottom there and in a really nice place to store lots of pieces of ephemera, documents, maybe birth certificates or anything like that. So I want to just stick that down there. Now I have backed this onto some craft paper um, and I've done that because I wanted this to be quite robust. This is 160 GSM paper I print out on. But with that now, we're looking closer to about 400 GSM. So you're looking, um, I'm not sure what that is in pound weight, but I know the 160 GSM is um, 60 pound weight. So you're looking at the thickness of, of standard cardstock, which is um, quite thick. All right. So you could use any kind of card if you've got a cereal box or a pasta box, any kind of packaging, something that's just going to firm this up. So go and look in the recycling container for something. OK, so you're not going to see it, but it's just going to give it some strength and longevity because we are making a memory journal. And, you know, you want to make sure that this is going to last. So I'm going to just stick that on there and I think I'm going to use my double sided tape. You can use your glue, um, you know, that would work equally well. But I'm just going to use some of this double-sided tape. This um, is great for something like this. Um, now, people's choices of adhesives are all different, you know. Um, and I don't have a rule for things. I go with what I feel, really. So, yeah. We had um, some lovely discussions about uh, various things in my Facebook group. And I mean, really, as I keep telling you, it's a great place to uh, learn, especially if you're new and you've got questions. Um, I mean, it's not to say I haven't learned loads. I have. I learned something every day. So we learn from each other um, and you're welcome to join us if you are one of those people that would like to take part in a Facebook group, whether you want to just comment or post or share or ask questions, it's a great place to be. So it is called Fans of Angela Kerr Designs um, on Facebook. The link is in the description box below and um, you're welcome to come and um, join us there. So there you have it. Right, so I've put the double-sided tape on move some of the stuff out the way and I'm going to then just position this over here let's see I want to get that fairly close to the edge I think the nice thing about double-sided tape is that it is quite forgiving oh, oh I didn't um, 
not a calamity, but I just didn't um, seem to distress that edge there for some reason. Right, there we go. Sorry, distracted. Be easier than doing it afterwards, I suppose. Right, so, yeah, get that close to the edge as you can, and then we can just stick that down. And there we go, that's done. How quick was that? All right, so we're going to carry on decorating a little bit. So I'm just going to turn that to the side. And then again, another piece from the same sheet of collage paper. I've just cut out a little square. Oh, perhaps you want me to tell you. Um, this is three and a quarter inches wide. And um, nearly eight and a half centimeters. Now this is the length of my A4 sheet of paper. Um, if you use the US letter, you probably have yours um, meet up better than this because yours is slightly wider, I think. So um, that would be absolutely great. Um, it doesn't matter because I've got this page underneath. So that just gives you an idea. This little pocket is um, seven and point four. 0.3 centimeters or mm, two and three quarter inches right so two and a quarter by six so that just gives you an idea and i think uh, what i'll do is i'll just give it a little notch out the top like i've done over here so just taking my little yeah you can use don't need to have a punch to do this you can use the top of your glue lid draw a circle whatever um you have probably best i like to often use this as a circle base that's a nice size to do that and you can just draw it with a pencil and cut it out so you know don't feel oh i don't have all the tools you know you can make do we all started that way i promise okay so i want to stick that over there like a little angel there so i'm just going to put a little higher and um looking for my art glitter glue talking about glues <laughs> right so i'm going to just hold that here i'm making a, a little pocket so anything that i might want to put in here you know you might have a little ticket like a train ticket or something some little piece of ephemera that you pick up along the way right so we're going to just stick this down here like that okay We've got a pocket on a pocket here all right and just when you thought it couldn't be any more pockets we're having another pocket so i'm going to use believe in you all right a great sentiment for the day and do believe in yourselves all right we're hard on ourselves we need to be more um positive and believe in ourselves most definitely all right i'm going to stick that just on top of that one and again i've made another little pocket so I've got a pocket on a pocket on a pocket here. Okay, and a nice sentiment there. Right, now for this little pocket, I've got this little tag. I've just cut this out from um, a punch I have. You can just cut a little rectangle and angle the sides. You don't need to have one of these. I'm just going, I've stuck one of my little um, um, butterflies from my pastel butterfly collection in there. So that's in there. And then I've got another one of my little pastel butterflies and I'm loving these aqua blue colours. Stunning. So if you haven't seen the new butterfly collection, um, go and take a peek. Right, so I'm going to put this on. Just over the corner here like this. Um, I think it was this one here, yeah. That's it. So we've got that there and we've got that little one peeking out there right um we've got some linen old vintage linen thread on the bottom of that so right so we've got our pockets sorted there that's all done um, and now is the time i think where we are going to take this little bit over here and um, stick this down so the same principle applies as we did with the the one before last time so just open up the flap this one's got a sticky bit on um and you want to i think just want to get a bit more glue closer to the edge here 
like that. Right. And um, I think I wanted it lower down, so I'm going to just and you've got to be quick with art glitter glue. All right, and I want to just make sure, yes, I've got it straight, so I do. So there we go. All right, and at the same time, I'm going to just glue this down. All right. Now, I did have a lady, um, Zenobia, ask me, how do I say what uh, the county, um, one of the English counties, um, in the Midlands for the UK and I keep forgetting to tell her how to pronounce it properly so the way we would say it here is um, Worcestershire Worcestershire is the county in the Midlands so that is the home of as she said to me Worcestershire sauce <laughs> so yeah great I hope that helps, Zenobia. Oh gosh, the glue is playing up again today. I always have this at the start of my glue. I don't know why. Not to worry. We will resume. There we go. Okay. Right, so we've got all the glue sorted there. And we want to pull our page back down. And we want to turn that over so let's just get the corners right there and here um, we'll get my um the hands are always a great way for this i can't uh, the hands are useful tools, I must say. But if you're wanting to get into little areas, then, you know, you can't go wrong with one of these. All right. Okay. So we've got that there. We've got that in place, kept behind by our other bit. Uh, it's all coming together really nicely now. Um, and then can put the glue back on here and then the only other thing that we want to do is decorate that put some few bits of ephemera in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move that over a bit um, we already have our tag in place over here so that's all sorted the ribbon that I like to use uh, matches that one it's from Plum Boutique in case somebody's inquiring because I get all sorts of questions so I try and cover it as much as I can um, right, um, so what I'm going to do is, I've got a piece of doily, this is one of my doilies from my doily 2 collection and, you know, going with all the lace and linens and things that were um, special at those times, I have um, printed that out and I thought that made a lovely addition. So I'm going to slide that in over here. You can just back these with tea stained paper, like I've done with these. This is one of the pieces from my purple passion ephemera kit, and you know, backed it with some tea stained paper to make notes there. Um, this again is from my um, vintage invoices and ephemera kit, and this is an actual French um ledger so i've made a smaller and a larger versions of this and i've backed that onto tea stain paper as well so you can make notes here you can make notes there um, and i'm going to put both of those into the side over here like that so you've got some layers going on there and then um just on the other side um these are two of my cabinet cards these are the larger ones and i've always loved this picture of this lady I have backed those onto the lacy paper. That's the lacy paper from my T Avo and uh, lace paper digitals. Um, and I love this picture of this woman. I've, this is a larger version as it is in the kit with the actual backing card that goes with this. So I thought it perfect to put this one here. I do love the backing cards. The designs are stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. So I have just, I'm going to put this, um, this side up 
in the pocket over here. So we've got our blue one and we've got the lady like that. All right, and then we've got all our layers like that over there. And that makes up the side. So we have our full layout now complete. So um, that was very short and sweet, um, but I, I do have one other little project that I'm going to be doing. So I hope that you've enjoyed this um, and I'll see you on uh, in our next video where I'm going to show you a little bit that I want to make and put in here, which I said. So let's go and have a look at that in our next video. So thank you, everybody. I hope that you've enjoyed that. Quick, short and sweet today. But um, I'm hoping that you can, if you haven't made this bit, you can go and catch up on that. As I said, all these components are to be found in our purple playlist purple playlist in my purple um, passion journal project folder all right so go and see whatever it is that we're going to do next time we are going to um the next page we'll do will be this page here and we will put these two bits together this is the bit that goes over here all right so that will will get done and then it's not too far from there Okay, everyone, have a lovely weekend. Um, I hope to see you very soon. Thank you all for your support, your amazing and kind words. I do appreciate them. Um, let me know if you like this video by simply just pressing pressing the like button or if you whatever, if you do like it. And see you very soon in our next video. Bye-bye now.